Hey everyone, Ken Pulse and the Data Monkey here with you. And in this episode, we want to talk about granular pivot table layouts. So let's look at my pivot table here. Uh, this is actually a power pivot back pivot table with DAX measures, but it could be a standard pivot. It really doesn't matter. What I'm not loving here is that all of my dimensions are smashed into this first column because it's showing in what we call compact form, which is the default. Now I can change this, of course, by selecting a cell on the pivot, going to the design tab, and changing the report layout to say maybe outline form. And this is pretty good, but it puts my subtotals at the top, which I don't love, but fortunately I can change that to show at the bottom, which unfortunately then subtotals every single dimension. So I then have to go back and individually control through my right click menu, my subtotals for each of these guys to turn them off so I can get back to just subtotaling my bank. But at least I have that ability to do that control. Now I'm not loving this layout though. Um, it's great that I've got a blank row above bank. I love that, but I don't love the cascading look here. So I'm gonna try another layout. We're gonna go tabular. And this is, this is good, except that I've lost my blank row. I, I really wish I could have the outline form with, with that. On the other hand, uh, it does look pretty good, except that we've got some gaps here. I mean, this H2O water is actually a December 28th transaction. I really wish I could fill this in, and rent expense is a December 31st. Wish I could fill that one in, which I can do by saying report layout, repeat all item labels. The problem is it brings all of this as well. I really only want to fill that for this one column. So let me turn that off. Uh, the other thing, I'd love to have a blank row after bank. Blank, insert blank, a line after each item, but that inserts it after everything in the pivot table. I want more granular control. Now the good news is I can get it. Check this out. If we right click on our dimension, we go to field settings. In the field settings under layout and print, I get the ability to say, show this line in outline form, or even if I want to in compact form with the next column. I'm not really big on the compact, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I can also choose to individually put a blank line after each item in this column. And boom, blank line after bank, it's got a nice header across the top. We can do the same thing over here on our dates. I'm gonna go and filter this one out and put in, let's repeat item labels. So boom, just like that, we get granular control via the field settings dialog for each dimensional field. All right, so hopefully you find that tip useful to really take control over your pivot table layouts. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.